this is H.C. Bailey, and Mojo is obsessed with standing on one foot on Let's Play Chrono Cross! Well, there's a new guy here since we uh, went to uh, uh, Van Gogh's house, so uh, let's have this guy draw a picture of us. See how it is. Oh, it's a pretty nice portrait there. Yeah, I did. Oh, really? Oh yeah, I guess uh, Van did say his dad used to be a painter, apparently. Well, that's terrible! Wow, that guy's a real jerk, huh? Well, let's talk to the uh, churro salesman now. Since, uh, yeah, his churros don't seem to be selling well for a hundred gold. So, in order to uh, get the desired result, let's tell him that, you know, that is a bit too much, you know? So, let's say around 50 gold. I think that's pretty good. I've heard the range is somewhere between like 40 and 60 gold to get the result that you want. But we won't be able to find that out until a little later, so instead, let's just uh, continue on with the plot and uh, get Pierre to help us get into Viper Manor. First thing we gotta do is talk to the kid who has the Heroes Medal. Yeah, it's a reference to the Hero Medal and Chrono Trigger, but uh, it has uh, nothing to do with the Masamune, it's just an accessory. I think it boosts your evade or something like that. Not too great until like near the end of the game. Anyway, there's a little scarecrow here. Brother, no! Uh, he's a scarecrow, not a voodoo doll. Although I suppose they both serve the same purpose, just a different target, apparently. Well, anyway, let's uh, talk to Pierre and uh, give him back his hero hero's medal. I'm probably just going to call it hero medal out of habit from Chrono Trigger, but uh, he wants to see uh, uh, General Viper and... Uh, oh! Oh yeah, that's right, ever since uh, Dario uh, died, I guess. I wasn't there, I don't know. Huh, well there you go. I've got it right here, can't you see? Oh, right, I gotta use it as a, a key item here. Let's try that one again. There we go. Can you cut out with the French accent there? I mean, I'm French myself, and I don't even like his accent. I mean, I'm not from France, I just have, I have ancestors who are French. So are you going to join my party or what? There we go. All right. Uh, that's like a backhanded compliment, I guess. Yay, new party members! All right, so we get Pierre, and now let's bring him into our party along with uh, Kid there uh, to head to Viper Manor. Uh, so how are we going to get there anyway? Okay, well, I guess we could uh, just go through the front gate. Ballsy. Stupid, but ballsy. Okay, well, now that we've got our third party member, let's forge some new weapons. Let's see how that works over here. See, we got the iron from disassembling that, uh, whatever that thing was, the profiteer purse. So let's forge a weapon for Surge, steel swallow there. Let's get one for Kid there, iron dagger. And Pierre's weapon is a sword, so let's forge a steel sword for him. Yay! And if you have some copper, you could also forge some bronze armor or uh, bronze helmets there. But we're going to find enough or steal enough while we're in Viper Manor, so I'm not really worried about forging it. And besides, I'm almost out of money. I can't even pay my rent here, apparently. Yeah, don't be so ha hasty in uh, asking for your rent. I'm altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it further. Okay, well, let's talk to that churro salesman, see if anything's selling a little better now. I'm going to rearrange my elements, too, but uh, we'll do that when, uh, well, when I'm done. Or when I get out of here. Marketing. Oh, well, there you go. Congratulations on your success. Yay, we get a Viper Churro. Now we can get our healing for free. I think Kit needed some healing after that boss fight there. Yeah, yeah, she's back to full. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange my elements. And then, uh, you know, there's a little cutscene back at Cape Howl that I was told about that I want to show you guys. See, now that I have Kid in my party and it's not nighttime, I can bring her back here for a little cutscene. I never knew about this. Someone uh, uh, in informed me about this little scene here, or this little 
bit of dialogue. Uh, he sent me a message about it. He's like, whoa, I never knew about this after all these years. So there's a lot of, there's probably a lot of little cutscenes here that I just don't know about. I know a lot of them, but not everyone. I think this is the game over music, isn't it? Like if everyone dies? Well, yeah, I'm 17. You want me to show you how fit I am? Well, yeah, of course I remember. I remember the last 10 years. I was with Lena this whole time. I don't know if Lena has to be here for this dialogue to transpire, but eh, whatever. Well, I remember what it was like when I was seven years old, and, and that was 20 years ago. Huh. Well, I'm alive now, so what difference does it make? Uh, Lena? Where are you going? Nice little sad music. Uh, well, that's what it looked like in the dream. Right in the gut, that would do the trick. Uh, well, I'm sure that's not a, a premonition or, or anything like that. Okay, well, that's everything there. Just a little piece of dialogue. It's a little more flavor to the game. Okay, now I didn't want Lena in my party, actually. So let's use the teleporter, just like a key item. You go in here. Let's bring Pierre back in now. So that's how you switch party members, just like that. Uh, let's see, as far as elements go, everyone's got the same setup. Cure, Bushwhacker, Heal, Arrow Saucer, and whatever level 3 tech that they got. Everyone has one. I'm not even going to put anything on level 3 because we're only going to be fighting yellow elemental enemies. So that's all we need there. Now, by the way, if you did not um, remove your elements or accessories from, like, Pulsual or Lena, let's say, you go to your characters, you press left all the way, and you can uh, allocate or remove their elements without having to switch them back into your party. The same thing goes with equipping. Let's say they had an accessory equipped. You could remove that. So, let's see. Also, Surge, he should have the silver loot. Everyone else should have helmets. Yeah, I forgot to do that off screen. Uh, what can I tell you, viewers? But, uh, yeah, only Pierre can equip the hero's medal. It gives him pretty good evade, actually. I'm still not a fan of evade, but, eh, got nothing better to do. Yeah, I almost forgot uh, to equip my steel weapons there, so I decided to uh, do that off screen here. So let's see if these guys will be a little more friendly to me this time around. We've got, uh, you know, a good looking guy. And uh, he's got a hero medal. We, he, we're, we've come here to uh, be your new leader. Or not. Well, come on. I've got the hero medal. Maybe uh, they'd be more impressed if I uh, told them it worked like it did in the first game. Hmm. Apparently not. Well, what are we going to do now? If you say think of a plan, uh, Pierre pretends to fall sick. And, uh, what is it? Yeah, they actually opened the gate for us, but then we gotta fight them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And honestly, I don't think it's that amusing. So, let's just take him head on here, just like I did in Final Fantasy VII. Get him! Oh yeah, you also get an extra battle if you, uh, choose, uh, let's think of a plan, but let's just go straight to these guys. Acacia Sergeants. Let's see how those new steel weapons work. Holy cow, that's pretty good. Let's take out uh, the one guy first. I wonder how they change their clothes so fast. Okay, well anyway, uh, let's wait a moment here. I don't want kids attack to get interrupted here. If I can... Are, are you going to attack me? There we go. Yeah, I was worried they might interrupt kid, because here's what I want to do. Uh, let's take a look at Kid's level 3 tech here. Let's go 1, 1, 2, 2. Okay, there we go. You see her fierce hit percentage? The way her level 3 tech works is it steals an item from your enemy. And to my understanding, its hit percentage is based on the hit percentage for your fierce attack. So, essentially you do that, you build up your hit percentage, and you can take him out pretty easily. Or you can steal the item pretty easily there. So if you use it, like, let's say, after they interrupt your attack, or let's say in the middle of while one of your other party members is attacking, your fierce hit percentage will be really low, and 
you probably won't be able to steal the item. But uh, fortunately, a bronze helmet is a pretty common steal, so it's pretty easy to get. I'd recommend doing that if you're taking Pierre along with Kid there. And let's heal up, and uh, huh, I only get one copper. I thought I'd get two, but eh, whatever. And now we can't leave. Uh, I think they say something like, hey, shouldn't we keep going or whatever? So you can't leave to, like, grind for stats or forge new equipment or whatever. Uh-oh, not again. Are we going to go for three for five this time? Salt and pepper, huh? All right, it's boss time again with salt and pepper. Can we defeat our favorite tutorial bosses yet again? Or are they feeling saucy today. Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.